So if we look at the database here, this is just an absolutely normal database that's configured out the box. And if we look at the background processes for the database running in standard mode, these are all the background processes that we know. You know we know there's a PMON, there's a PMON, log writer, checkpoint process, system monitor, all the usual background processes we've got. And how many are there in this 12C database? Well, in crude count, about 50 odd background processes. And that's because we're running in the normal mode. Now, I did run a little program just to get an idea of performance improvements. And if you look at this program, all the shell script is doing 20 times log on, log off. I just want to get an idea of how long it takes to establish sessions against a conventionally configured database. If I time it. And we see the logons going through. And it's taking, it looks like it's taking about a second for each of my 20 logons, but we get some figures coming through at the end. I do like to run these scripts twice just to make sure we get repeatable results. Now, how long has it taken? That was a total of 28 seconds. I'll just run it again. That's slower than usual. I'll just run it again to see if, to let the figures stabilize. It wouldn't be too fair on the system to go by an exceptional result. So 28 seconds. We'll try again and see if I get a similar result second time. And then I'll make the change. Now the change, done with the parameter. There's a new parameter, threaded execution. If I set that, alter system set, threaded execution, default is false, and set that to true. It is, of course, a static parameter. Something as drastic as this can't be done on the fly. Well, 28 seconds, I'm getting consistent results. So my 20 logons log offs are taking 28 seconds of lapse time. Then I'll restart the instance with threaded execution. Now, remember what was happening at the operating system level. We had a total of over 50 processes. Well, it's not like that anymore, is it? My 50 processes appear to have come down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to just 7. Just 7 processes. We'll see what's going on within these 7 processes in a second. But you can see already, reducing 50 processes to 7, there's a dramatic change in the entire Oracle architecture as we do that. <coughs> just <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, there's a bit more to it, by the way, than just setting one parameter. I, have, I should confess I have done a bit more preparation than that. Now, to run the... Um, <coughs> oh, I didn't enable the timing. All right, now we get an idea of what's actually... Oh, that's not bad. So my 28 seconds has come down to 16 seconds with the threaded server. I'll just run it again to see if I get consistent results. And what you can see going on here is that all of these processes are in fact in one process, process 3263. So, yes, EF, grep, ORCL. Right. This process 3263 is in fact ORA U005. And within that one process, all these processes are running as threads. All these processes are running as threads in 3263. So our, <clears throat> just to pick some of them out, oh, you can see further up here, our log, our checkpoint process and our log writer process. There's my log writer is part of process 3249, checkpoint process is part of 3249, SMON is part of 3249, all separate threads within, in that case, 3249 within that process. 15 seconds. So, Running my little scripts through the conventional server took 28 seconds. Running it through the threaded server took 16 or 15 seconds. I've doubled performance, double performance. And remember, that's a very crude example. You know, all I'm doing there is just logging on and logging off. <clears throat> just doing that. And that was it. But to have double performance just for that one part of the cycle is going to make a terrific difference. <clears throat>